What's up everyone, it's Jono here and I'm here with Ryan hey, and guys. Uh, we're getting ready to do the next uh, call, okay? We're gonna actually do this live. Yes. Uh, Ryan lives in Jakarta and he's come out to my house here and we're gonna do this like in real time. So um, thanks for tuning in, stay tuned. It's gonna be a long call. It's probably yeah. gonna go on for like an hour or something, but don't worry, you're gonna learn a lot and so's Ryan and uh, we're gonna force him to make money in the next 30 days. So. Let's get into this. So on the last call, we talked about, what did we talk about? Yeah, we, well, we talked about, you know, getting set up, getting started, um, how you do your review videos, um, you know, putting it all into practice, getting your URLs, putting that in place, building up your emails, building up your contact list, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, for you guys, the benefit here is, even though I had all the information and I look at all the videos, this is all completely new to me. So. I was still like, right, I have all these pieces of a jigsaw everywhere now, but I have no idea where the jigsaws click, you know, nothing made sense to me. Um, so today the benefit is basically, you know, it's good to show that if you have no idea what you're talking about or what these guys are talking about in internet marketing, then, you know, I'm like that just now. We're going to show you how you can start building up a structure to actually not just get the knowledge, but put the knowledge into a structure where you can use it and you can start to, to make money from it. Yeah. So that's pretty much where we are. And there's your coffee, Thank sir. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you. Has this got milk in it, Pez? Yours, yeah. Sick. Okay. So, um, yeah, on the last call, we, we just kind of had a, a chat about how to get started. Yep. And um, the, the end goal here is to build up an email list, right? And the reason being is because you can use that, that becomes your asset, right? Yeah. As a marketer, that becomes your asset. <clears throat> you effectively, it's like a big net. Yeah, there's so much traffic out there, but you need to capture that traffic yeah. onto your autoresponder. So whenever you do a promo in the future, you can send a newsletter out to that autoresponder and you've got free traffic yeah. on tap. It's like, having a, it's like having access to your own ATM <clears throat> machine. Whenever you need some money, you send out an email to a good promotion and you make money. Now, I've just been doing a good promotion that started last night uh, for a product that was called Funnels Kit. And as you can see on my screen here, I woke up to $14,500 this morning, which is really good. This is, this is one of my best promotions actually so far. You can see in my affiliate tab over here, I've made over $10,000 from this one promotion. And that was just from sending out, I think, three emails so far. So the end goal here is to build up an email list. but. Building up an email list is not as easy as everybody says it is, right? Um, the big thing to remember here is there's two types of subscribers, right? Yep. Two types of people that are going to be joining your email list. You have the freebie seekers, okay. which you're going to get from you know posting in Facebook groups, you're going to get from using paid traffic. Yep. These freebie seekers, they're just kind of tire kickers. They're just looking for some kind of opportunity that might work, but they don't really want to pay for anything. Yeah. So you, there is a way that you can turn these freebie seekers into buyers, uh, but it is a bit of a lengthy process. Now, the other type of people that we have on our email list are the buyers. Action takers. These are the action takers. These are the people that are gonna buy stuff. <laughs> these are the people that are a lot more serious about building an online yeah. business. And these are the people that when you send out a newsletter to your email list, these are the people that are actually gonna buy stuff from you, right? Okay. So these are really the subscribers we're gonna be looking to get onto our email list, okay. right? Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, you can do this from paid traffic, yep. but you need something to send that traffic to, yeah. okay? Now, a lot of people, they make a mistake here. They end up sending that paid traffic to somebody else's offer that they are promoting as, a, as an affiliate link, as an affiliate because they want to make some quick money. Mm -hmm. The bad thing about this is... Is it the capture email, say? You do capture their email, okay, okay. but at the same time, because you're sending this person to somebody else's product, yeah. you're sending them this subscriber as well. Yeah. So they're sat there and they're thinking, okay, thanks very much. You just yeah. sent me a buyer. Yeah. I haven't had to pay for that <coughs> traffic. I haven't had to do anything. And I've got this buyer you know, out of the sky because yeah. you sent it to me. So because that person has made a product, they've made all the videos themselves. Yeah. <coughs> this this subscriber that you sent to them, yeah. okay, you've got them onto your email list, but they're gonna be more likely to buy something from the person who's made this product, yes, right? Yes. Because, because they've made this product. He's like the project matter expert. 
exactly about it, yeah. they've got all of their branding in there yeah. they've got their face on camera they have built up this trust with that brand new subscriber they're gonna get the sale yeah so with with that in mind what's what would be a better way to do it do you think the like you said before what was it called again uh, like hijacking traffic is that the one no yeah uh, well it is but we'll get into that later on but I mean if you if you're thinking about getting paid traffic and sending it yep. somewhere well, you'd probably want to send it to you like a capture a sales page for you like your own sales page that the yeah, yeah your own product yeah 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 instead of sending it to somebody else's product and giving them that subscriber straight away yeah. if you send it to your own product yeah you're getting the branding in there you're selling this product to them so you're making money from that as well yeah. that is ultimately the best thing to do but okay. <clears throat> what you need in place first is your own product right yeah uh, and you might not be ready for that yet yeah but ultimately that is the best way to build up your email list is to have your own product okay. so you get all of your your own branding in there you get you, you build up that trust with that brand new subscriber because you have that your, your own product so yeah. ultimately that's where you want to get yourself now for, for anyone watching how would, yeah. how would you then when, when you're ready to, to get to that stage yeah. how would you then uh, how would you make your own product how do you go around that it's pretty easy there's some hacks out there I mean what you can do is you can go over to places like warrior plus okay okay you go to the affiliate offers dashboard yeah. up here so affiliates and then offers and then you're gonna look through the, the past um, oh, was it in marketplace okay yes yeah, sorry it's in marketplace top products okay okay and then you look at this the top products over the past 30 days okay okay or even over the past let me just see I haven't done this for a while but you can you can view the top products from the past year somewhere down here okay but let's just go with the past 30 days you can okay. see um, cartel, cartel yeah. project profit Academy. I mean, this is our high ticket product so you probably don't want to remember yeah. this one but if you can if you can go in there and you can find out a way to, to find the products from the past like year okay and then look at products that launched over six months ago okay well, I mean when you're just first getting started on this you got two you got two choices you can either go for a software product yeah which would mean that you need to replicate that software okay probably the easiest thing to do is look for a training product that's been launched in the past yeah. like, year okay over six months ago go and have a look at a product that that has uh, good EPCs okay. and that probably just went right over your head yeah. but I'll, I'll, t I'll explain what that means if you go into affiliate you go to offers um, and you have a look at some of these products you can see when they launched okay so okay. this was recently launched in, in in August but you want to go back as far as you can really and have a look at some of these products that were launched okay. you know over six <clears> months ago and what you're looking for here is you have all of these statistics here right this first one here tells you the number of products that, that were sold so this only sold a hundred okay so probably want to rule that one out you want to look at products that have sold over a thousand units yeah. like this one here. <clears throat> this percentage here is the the conversion rate okay okay so you want to look you want to look at a product that has a lot of sales it has a good, good conversion, conversion rate, rate yeah. this one here has a conversion rate of 28 percent, which is really and good 3,000 plus sales so that's 3,000 plus sales right um, and it has an EPC of thirteen dollars eighty six. What this means is that if you're an affiliate, okay, mm -hmm. and you're sending traffic to this product, you can expect to make an average of thirteen dollars eighty six per customer that you send there. Okay. Right? This is called EPC or <coughs> earnings per click. So, if you send a thousand sales, mm -hmm. you can ex if you send a thousand clicks. Yep. you can expect to make on average thirteen dollars eighty six per click that you send which is really okay. high see mostly those, these other ones are like four dollars and what about this here in the red with the four dollars does that mean it's a high ticket because i see ones yeah, it's got like the four dollar signs here all right this is just these are the vendor stats so this is like okay. he's a top one percent <laughs> vendor mosh barry okay. and he's had over 25 featured offers in the okay. past you don't you don't really need to take that into account okay. um the, the things that you need, need to take into yeah, account is the, the amount of units sold, the, the percentage of conversion rate, yep. and the EPCs. Okay. Also the refund rate, which is this statistic <coughs> here. So the lower the refund rate, the better. The better yeah, right? okay, perfect. 
Okay, so what you want to do is you want to find a product that ticks all the boxes there. I think that's done. Yeah. Yeah, no probs. So find a product that's over six months old. Over six months, yep. Yeah. yeah. Over six months old. Reason you're looking for a product that's over six months old because ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to clone that product. We're basically going to replicate that exact product and we're going to improve on it. Okay. Okay, but all of the foundations are there because the original product has kind of done all the groundwork for you. Okay. You look at the stats here, okay, so you see that it's sold over a thousand units. Yep. Okay, you look at the conversion rate, it's got a high conversion rate, which is the percentage. Yep. Yeah. And then you look at the the EPCs, the earnings per click, uh, which is that dollar amount there. Yep. Yeah, that's like a dollar amount. And then the refund rate, so it's got a low percentage of refunds. Okay. That also helps. Once you've found a product that ticks all of those boxes, yep. what you're gonna do is, well, you probably have to buy that product if you can't get review access <coughs> to it already. Now, this particular product here that we were looking at, this is actually a software. It's a software that these guys made. Okay. Um, so that might be a little more difficult to replicate because you need to get hold of a coder mm -hmm. who can go and clone that, that software. Okay. It's not impossible, but yeah. it, it is going to cost you a bit more money because there's a software involved. Yeah. That's why when you're just getting started off, you don't have... Video. Yeah, look for a, a training product, which is just purely training videos. Um, because that's not going to cost you anything to yeah. replicate. Okay. Um, once you've found that product, you can go ahead and you can take notes on all of those videos inside of the <coughs> inside of the training. Okay. And you you take notes and you're basically gonna gonna rehash it. Yeah. Okay. Right? That's the easiest way to do it. Um, there's other mm -hmm. ways that you can come up with a product to, to launch. Um, basically, the uh, the foundations of marketing they're just simply traffic to a high converting offer, targeted mm -hmm. traffic to a high converting offer. I'll see if I can find an example in one of my hard drives here. <clears throat> in fact, no, it's going to take me a while to do it. But what I did is I, I'll drop a link down below. Sure. Basically, I made an image that shows all the different traffic sources and it shows all the possible ways to monetize that traffic. So you've got e-com, you've got CPA, you've got um, affiliate offers, you've got Amazon products, you've got you know, all these different ways to monetize that traffic. Yeah. And then all these different types of traffic sources like AdWords, Google Ads, YouTube, you know, yep. um, paid traffic, solo ads. And all you need to do is just link one of these traffic sources to a monetization way of monetizing for okay. that. And that's basically the foundations of marketing. And all you need to do is take one of these traffic sources, mm -hmm. link it up with some kind of monetization method, okay. and you know, the combinations are endless. Yep. And you need to test it out, make sure that that traffic source would fit this monetization method. And then you just go through and you create videos on how to link everything together and, okay. and how to set it up. And that's, you know, there's an unlimited amount of combinations you could do with that. All you need to do is just link them up, test it out, and then just take it to the market, package it up. Okay. So ultimately, that's what we're gonna be getting you doing in the next couple of months. We're not going to do this right <coughs> now yeah. um, because you need to get more of an understanding of the foundations yeah. before you put the house on top. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's a good way of putting it. So what we're going to do first, instead of focusing on product <coughs> launching yep. and building up our email list right now, I'm going to show you a way that you can get into affiliate marketing without having a website, yep. without having your own product okay. and without using paid traffic. Okay. Now this is called launch jacking and this is exactly <coughs> this is exactly how I got started online okay. because I got started online in 2017 and I didn't have any money. In fact, you'll probably remember back towards the end of 2017, yep. <coughs> I actually contacted you and I said, do you have any work yep. that I can do, right? Yeah, yeah. And you put me in touch with the Chinese and yeah. I did that video for them and then they yep. took me on and I did some, did some work for them. And that was a massive help for me. And that's partly the reason why I'm kind of returning the favor right now. But yeah, back in 2017, I was completely skinned. I didn't have a penny to my name. Yeah. 
So I got into doing affiliate marketing this way because I didn't have money to spend on paid traffic. I didn't have money to spend on a flashy website yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And just just for anyone watching, like this yeah. is true what he's saying. And then <coughs> all of a sudden, like I knew John Odo was was in a tough place at that time. And then all of a sudden, it was, it was literally I don't even think it was a year later. I was on Facebook and I seen him logging in, flying to Canada in business class, and I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is he up to now, you know? And I thought, this is great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we have a bit of history together because um, we, we're both passionate about doing stuff online. Yeah. And even like back in 2016 or beginning of 2017, we used to call each other and say, okay, I've got this, this idea with yeah. Instagram and it might work, I'm going to test it out. If it works, I'll let you know. And then you're like, okay, yeah. I'm just getting into trading right now. Yeah. If I figure it out, I'll let you know, you know. So we yeah. kind of had each other's backs <laughs> from the beginning and then it's all kind of coming together now. Yeah. You know, I've, I've gotten onto something that was really working yeah. and I'm going to, I'm going to force <laughs> Ryan to do it as well, whether he likes it or not, <laughs> he's going to make it happen. We, we both have the kind of common goal of we, we simply cannot work in an office nine to five. Like it, it would literally destroy my soul, you yeah. know? Yeah. I, I just, we have the same kind of thought, but I always think to myself, if you can put eight hours, 10, 12 hours a day into someone else's company, when they're gonna give you five dollars, ten dollars an hour, I think, ah, oh, your life is just so wasted because I, I, I genuinely believe no matter what you choose, whether it's this, whether it's something else, if you're willing to put eight, nine, 10, 12 hours a day into your own thing, you're gonna make more than $50 a day, which is what you would get in a company anyway. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I just think, but you're gonna be doing your own thing. So that's the kind of massive kind of goals for me. Yeah, and we have a very <laughs> similar mindset when it comes to that. You know, we've been there, we've been in the trenches. Yeah, yeah you literally, yeah, yeah. yeah you come from <laughs> an army background. And we've both done nine to fives, you know, we've both done that, that shit, you know, yeah, where you, you trade your time for money. Yeah. And, and, and again, we both have this understanding that there's something else out there yeah. where you can work for yourself, but we also understand that it's not easy, it's not easy. to get there. Yeah. But we're, we also understand that it's worth putting the time in and the effort yeah. to get to that spot, to get to that place, yeah. right? And that's the kind of mindset you need to have, right? There's so many people <coughs> out there that haven't got, they haven't trained their mind to think like that yet. Yeah. And that's gonna, be, that's gonna be a roadblock for you guys that do have <coughs> that mindset. So the sooner you get into that mindset, yeah of you can make money, you can make a big amount of money, but but you have to work your ass off yeah. to get there first. Yeah. Right? A lot of people I think jump on these kind of things and you know, they might think, oh, in a month I'm gonna make 20, 30 grand a month and my mate does it, it's easy, you know, and, and it's not at all. I said to John when we came here today, John was saying, you know, in the, in the next two to three months I can be making good money doing this, but and, and that's great, you know, if, if that's the case, that's fantastic. But in my mind, I already said to John, excuse me, I really don't care if it takes me a year, two years, or three years to, to build it up. You know, I know that things take time. Yeah. There's no such thing as free money. You know, you, you have to work at it. Well, this took me um, two years. Brilliant. It's around two years. Yeah. And um, I know there's even more in it. You know, yeah. I know I can make 20 grand, 30 grand yeah. a day if I take it to the next level. You know, there's always levels in this kind of thing. Yeah. Sky's the limit. And that's the great thing about this. You can. If you keep working, out, you can get to that, you know. And just for anyone watching, um, I mean, a while ago, you might remember that people had really good Google businesses, and then when Google changed their policy, the literally overnight, yeah. everyone lost their business. You know, or, or those type of people lost their business. Uh, what's the chances of something like this happening with this? Or well, <coughs> funnily enough, that Brendan was in on that Google thing when it was, you know, when, yeah. he, when he was raking it in, and that was like three years ago. He was one of those people that lost his business overnight because mm. Google changed their algorithm. Okay. And the big lesson that he learned from that is that you can't rely on, on third party okay. places that, that effectively they own your business, like Google. Yeah. yeah, it's not, yeah, you run the business, but it's own, it's, it's, it's hosted on their platform. You okay. can't rely on that. Yep. The difference between that and the reason why I got into affiliate marketing is because of this email list, this asset. That's something that you own, and okay. no algorithm is going to take that away from you. Yeah. Inside of your autoresponder, you can download all of those leads that you've collected. So okay. even if your autoresponder goes, if something happens to me, you can always upload them to another autoresponder and just yeah. carry on going. Okay. That's why I said this email <laughs> list is your asset, and that's the thing that you want to be working to build up. Okay. So there's no chance of that happening. I mean, 
anything's volatile these days. I mean, even with affiliate marketing, you know, the FTC could come in and start regulating it strictly yeah. or whatever. But if you have an email list, you, there's always ways around it. I mean, there's yep. nothing. <clears throat> FTC came in and, and they took down a big network marketing company called Mobe, M-O-B-E, okay. right. last year. That was a massive hit. Uh, but affiliate marketing, because all you're doing is you're launching your own products, your own training courses, yep. and you're promoting other people's training courses, it, it's different. It's not like a big yeah. network company. It's <coughs> you, You're still effectively a freelancer, you know? Yeah. So nobody so can like really... the web with loads of little corners. Loads yeah. Of, yeah. Nobody, yeah. Can, yeah. Nobody can come in and, 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 and take that away from you, which is great. So anyway, getting back to what we were talking about, yeah. Um, I'm going to show Ryan how to do launch jacking, which is something that I started off doing because I didn't have any money to invest in, in anything. Um, it works by, let me bring up a, a paint tool here and I can try and use this to explain. Okay, <clears throat> so um, in, in, this, in, this, in this business model, it's all about people launching products mm -hmm. and people supporting those products. Okay. So there's, there's a calendar which is called Munchai, which we talked about on the call before. And this is where everybody goes to, to, to launch their products. And this is where everybody goes to when they're thinking about uh, doing affiliate marketing and promoting a product. You can see down here, today alone, we got one, two, three, four. There's four different products that are launching, okay. right? Now, <coughs> if, <Excuse me. coughs> if I'm on the other end of this and I'm launching a product, I would go to this calendar and I would look for a spot on this calendar which is not too busy. Okay. Like the 18th, it only has two two people launching, so I'd probably choose this okay. date. Okay. But anyway, as an affiliate, if I'm looking for a product to promote, I'm gonna go to this <sighs> calendar, I'm gonna look and see who's launching, and then I'm gonna go and grab the details from this. Now, when somebody launches a product, okay, yep. there's not only one affiliate that's promoting that product, there's literally 50 or 60 affiliates that are promoting. You can see on this product that I'm promoting at the moment, if I just go to contests, um, funnel, funnels kit main contest. Okay, if I just go here, you can see this leaderboard. If I go to individual leaderboard, you can see there's there's 20 names on here. Now they yeah. that's because they've limited this to 20 people that they're showing. There, okay. There's hundreds of affiliates that are sending traffic to this launch, okay. right? So what happens during a launch is you have Okay, let's just have the sales page here. Okay, you have hundreds of affiliates that are sending out a newsletter to their email list okay. about this launch. <laughs> okay, they're all sending their traffic to this sales page saying, okay, this product's launching, it's a great product, it does X, Y, and Z, it's gonna help you in so many ways, go and buy it here. They put a link in their email mm -hmm. and that link, that link is gonna to point to their affiliate link which goes to this sales page here which okay. is where they make their money, right? Yep. Now, because there's so much traffic flying around, there must be hundreds of thousands of emails that are getting written, or hundreds of thousands of people reading emails about this product. Okay. Okay, so that means there is a ton of traffic flying around, going, eventually going to this sales page. But a lot of these people reading these emails, they're pretty smart, aren't they? <laughs> they don't get all of the information that they need. They're interested in this product, but mm -hmm. they don't get all of the information that they need from this sales page. So what a, what a huge percentage of these people do is they go to places like YouTube, yep. okay, and they type in review, funnels, mm. kit, review, okay, because they want to know more about this product. Yep. So as you can see, all of these people here, They've made reviews about this product okay, yeah. to give people more information about this. You can see the whole first page of YouTube is full of review <coughs> videos yeah. for this keyword, including mine, which is down here. Yeah. Now, the aim here is to capture all of this loose traffic that's, that's going to YouTube and, and Google as well and typing in product name review and then getting our video to the first place on YouTube. Okay? Okay. Because that means when people type in this keyword, they go to YouTube, they're gonna go and check out one of these review videos. So the higher you have your review video on YouTube, the more chance you've got of people watching your review video. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of this a lot of this traffic is gonna end up on YouTube. Okay, mm -hmm. they're gonna watch 
they're going to watch your review video okay mm -hmm. and then in the in the in the um, the description of your YouTube video like this dude here in the description of your YouTube video you're gonna have this link showing which if they click on this link it's probably gonna take them through to the bonus page and we'll talk about this later on okay and then when they click on any of these buttons you see what happens yeah see Boom. this just for anyone watching now following this <coughs> this is like where I start to get confused I think like, where do I get this bonus page how, yeah. how you know where does it magically come from that, that I put a bonus page on and when someone clicks it, it comes to me like that this is the parts where I'm totally confused and, I'm gonna show you yeah, I'm gonna okay. break it I'm gonna break it down <coughs> but as you can see when we clicked on the button on his bonus page it took us through to yep. the sales page for this product okay. if we click on buy this product right mm -hmm. it's gonna take us through to the, the shopping cart but it's gonna go via this guy's affiliate link mm -hmm. so if we buy this right now yeah he's gonna get credited for this sale so okay. if we go back to this chart here we've come through from somebody's email we've mm -hmm. gone to YouTube we've searched for this product we've watched his review we've clicked on the button on his bonus page I just type in bonus here bonus it's like a three-year-old's right in <laughs> But we've gone through to his bonus page, which is embedded with his affiliate link, which has then taken us through to the sales page. So this guy, or us, when we make our review video, we're effectively hijacking this traffic via our review video, via our page, via our affiliate link to the sales page. So we make the sale <coughs> out of their traffic. And um, we've done this without having a website. Okay. Well, we kind of do because we make a bonus page but without having to pay for any traffic, without having an email list, that's the most important thing. So just one more time, yeah. how, how did we hijack his, did we hijack his actual video? Is that what you're saying? No, we're not no. hijacking his video. Right. We put ourselves- we, we put our own video on there? Yeah, Okay. so we're effectively, we're pretending that we're this guy. Okay. We're pretending that this so video you, is our video. Like, like you would copy his, his, like what he wrote there, you'd copy all, Blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't I um, wouldn't copy it straight out yeah, straight but out, yeah. I would do a version of that and I'll, I'll show you what you need to write okay. in your in your video you can see this one's mine here right? yeah so I've got my title up here okay you can see I put warning don't buy funnels kit without my custom bonuses yeah okay <laughs> I've got my link here which goes to my bonus page okay. um, in the uh, Okay, in the description here, I've just basically copy and pasted this from somewhere. Okay. So you don't really need to type all this out on your own. Don't Great. worry about that. Um, <clears throat> and then I've got my link, which goes to my bonus page, which I created. And I'll show you how to make this as well. Okay. It's pretty easy. <clears throat> and then when people click on any of the buttons on my bonus page, uh, they get access to my bonuses, which is another another really important thing about doing this launch jacking yeah. method because. <clears throat> Inside of my review, for about the first 10 minutes of this video, I'm talking about my bonuses, okay. right? <laughs> so, you know, anybody who's, who's going to, anybody who's, who's, who's going to YouTube to search for a review video, yeah. we wanna make sure that we stand out from all of these other guys that are also making review videos on yeah. YouTube. You can see there's, there's tons of people yeah. making review videos. What makes us different from them? And what I found is by making good quality bonuses that mm -hmm. are congruent with the product that we're reviewing, yep. that are genuinely going to help these people out with this product that yep. adds value oh, to yeah. this product. Yeah. You know, instead of saying, okay, I'll give you $100 if you buy via my link. Yeah. We can't do that. You know, <coughs> that's against, against the rules, right? Yeah. The, the, the other way that we can do this is by offering products of high value that are going to help them out. Okay. And that's where we incentivize these people to buy this product via our link okay. as opposed to somebody else's link, right? Right. So probably your next question is where do we get these bonuses from, yes. right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk about that. But first, right, now you kind of understand how this, I'm gonna call it a business model, right? Because yep. this was my business model for about a year when I first got into this. And I, and I managed to get this to the stage where I was, I was able to make $1,000 a day just doing promotion, doing this business model without a, an email list, wow. right? So it's it's powerful stuff. You can make a ton of money just by doing this if you do it right. Okay, so this is kind of the business model we're gonna be working on for probably the next two weeks. Okay. And we're gonna get you making money from just launch jacking alone. Okay. Now, you'll find in the grand scheme of things, in the big picture, 
<coughs> you're still going to be making review videos. Okay. Even if you've got an email list of 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people, yep. you're still going to be making a review <coughs> video like I do. Every time I do a promotion, you can see I still put my <coughs> review video yep. on my bonus page because ultimately I send this bonus page out to my email list inside of my newsletter and I okay. say, come and check out my review video, come and check out my bonuses. This is the URL I send in all my emails so they can go and watch my review video. Yeah. So I'm still making a review video regardless that I have you know, a huge email list right now. So this is the best way to start okay? because you're ultimately going to be doing this anyway. Okay. So you might as well start doing this the sooner the better. you know. So this is kind of the, the business model we're going to be following for the next couple of weeks. If you've got any questions about this general business model or anything you're confused about right now, <coughs> then I can go through this. Okay, so we've got the people coming in, that's fine. Uh, you're doing the review video on YouTube, so people are going to check the YouTube. Yeah. So from here, do people send out the email and then from the email people then go and check YouTube? Yeah, okay. if, if, you, <coughs> if you put yourself into a prospective customer's mindset, right? yeah. so you've just received an email saying, from, buy this. from somebody saying, buy this, it, don't does, know what it, is. it does awesome stuff, right? Yeah. If you've got, if you don't, if you don't, trust them 100% or you don't want to take their word for it, okay, you get sent to this sales page, right? Now on the sales page, there's, there's some information about what the product does, but you, you want more and then, information, yeah, okay? Yeah. The product costs $67, <coughs> it's a lot of money. You want to know what you're buying, right? Yeah. So what are, you, what are your options here? What are you going to do? Well, you're going to Google it, you know, you're going to go to Google and be like, what is this about, you know, yeah. and then you'll see the reviews, yeah. Exactly, okay. so you're going to type in, Funnels kit review, or funnels kit demo, or funnels kit walkthrough, yep. or funnels kit scam. If you're not, yeah. if you think it might be a scam, you want to see if there's any more information about that. Right. What we do in our review video is we have what's called keywords. So, if I just go into my keywords here, and mm -hmm. all integrated. Let's stop recording. Just set it going again. <laughs> check check okay so if we look at my review video here you can see in my description I've got all of these tags here okay funnels kit review funnels kit bonus funnels kit review and bonus funnels kit bonuses and for funnels example, kit software if you've copy and pasted that yeah does it still work well, what I mean by that is if you copy and paste from Instagram it doesn't work with hashtags and stuff does it work here it does work with yeah, this yeah, because you put them into a section in your video which mm. is called tags. Okay. Now your tags show up here and Got you. Um, this <laughs> is actually a plugin that I use with YouTube and it shows me my rankings for each one of these keywords. You can see I'm ranking number three yeah. for funnels kit review, number three for funnels kit review and bonus. Okay. Um, funnels kit I'm ranking number five. So and these what, are all your video that? tags. Um, what is the panel thing that you're using? Alright, it's a plugin which is called vidIQ. VidIQ. It's this one here, it's free. So if you just type in vidIQ into Google, okay. it's a Chrome extension. So okay. you just add it onto your Chrome bar, okay. and then anytime you use YouTube, it's gonna bring, it's gonna give you all this information here. Okay, mate. Yeah. Okay, so that's another golden nugget <coughs> that we just dropped. <laughs> go and use that. It's completely free of charge. Okay, so if we go back to this chart thing here, <coughs> is there any other things that you're confused about before we move on? Okay, so when it comes to what you said, the launch hacking, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, so the hacking part is, you know, launch, these people, launch jacking, launch jacking, sorry, <laughs> I'm jacking, no worries. So these people have already launched it, so it's already been searched, it already has the kind of, the traffic, if you like, of being searched to and fro, yeah. um, you're then going to review a video, see what they've got, what they're offering, you then go away, you make your own video, plus you include your bonuses, yeah. You do, like, you know, you've got your descriptions, your your uh, keywords, blah, 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 you smash that on, mm -hmm. and then, so you basically launch jacked, you basically hijacked that, that video, am I right? That, exactly. Okay, okay. So you're relying on people's curiosity of getting this email, not being satisfied with the information they've got from this email, or the sales page, yep. and then them manually going over to YouTube or Google, typing in the name of the product and review, or demo, or walkthrough, or whatever, Okay. And then you're relying on them going to YouTube and seeing your 
video that you've ranked, right? Okay, now we're at that stage. Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so, they're now on your video, they're now happy at the end, they want to buy it. When you look down below, you have like the, the product link that you're actually selling, yeah. and then you have your bonuses. Am I right in saying, when they go through that product link, yeah. that's the one that you were talking about earlier, when the other guy is like, thanks very much for sending me free guys, yeah. and then when you get the bonus one, that's when the details are coming to you kind of thing, like, oh, now I'm getting it for myself, is yeah. that correct? Yeah, that's okay. how you're going to capture their <coughs> email address, and we'll get to that okay. after we've made the review video, sure. but okay. yeah, basically, <laughs> They've come through here, they've bought this via your link, you're the affiliate, yep. they want your bonuses, right? Mm -hmm. So what they're gonna do, on they go to their receipt page, right? Okay. So they have a, like a, a receipt for them purchasing in, and then there's a button on that receipt page which says affiliate bonuses, so let's just put a B in there, for bonuses. Now when they click on that button, mm -hmm. that sends them to, well you can put a URL in there, of where they can go and claim their bonuses that you advertise, right? Okay. So what I do is inside that button, I put what's called a squeeze page where people enter their name, yep. yeah, and they enter their email address. And okay. is that easy enough for someone to do, like me, who's, super who's simple. not, okay, who's yeah. not like super simple. Thing. Okay. I'll show you how to do <laughs> this. It's all done inside of your autoresponder. They have these pre-built pages you can use. But I'll get, okay. So what happens there, they enter their, their name and email address, their name and email address goes through onto your auto responder. Yeah. Okay, and then this automatically redirects that person to a different URL where they can go and claim the their bonuses. bonuses, right? Got you. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, understand. So yeah, <laughs> it's just a question of linking all of this stuff together, yep. which we're going to go through step by step. Yeah, that's exactly it. Because when I see it on the previous videos. Um, it was like I got all the pieces I understood which each thing that we spoke about meant yeah. but then after the call like trying to piece them all together it was as if you you were like where's, where's my jigsaw pieces you know like yeah. where's the bit that goes on the left where's the bit that goes on the right and it was uh, a total mess and then <coughs> excuse me I thought to myself it's not just me there's going to be tons of people that yeah. are in the same boat you know yeah. and, and that's why they don't take action and actually start making money from it it's simply because they don't know and they're too afraid to ask you know sometimes. exactly and you know a lot of this stuff for people like me, we take it for granted because it seems like so elementary. It seems yeah. like, oh, how come you don't know how that works? Exactly, you know? exactly. And we just explain it, but we kind of assume that people know what's yeah. going on. So it's good <clears throat> having you here who's just getting into this and asking these questions, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because it helps me <laughs> think, okay, well, maybe it is difficult for people. Maybe, maybe I am taking this for granted. Yeah. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how it's, all of this stuff links together. So. <clears throat> Starting off with the preparation, right? Yeah. Okay, so the tools that we need to be able to do this, well, first of all, we need to have something that's gonna, okay, first of all, we'll just go and look for a product that we are gonna promote, Okay. right? That we're gonna use. So to do that, we're gonna go over to Munchai. This is where it all starts. Okay, so we're gonna go over to munchai.com. Okay. Mm-hmm. M-U-N-C-H-E-Y-E. Oh, Munchai. Okay. Yeah, Munchai.com. Okay. All right, so, <laughs> so we're going to go over here and we're going to see if we can find a product that we want to promote. Now, okay. this might be a little bit confusing to start off with because oh, you have just... big launches on the left, okay. all launches on the right. Okay. And you don't know which one of these people are going to have a big launch, which people are going to have a small launch. And that okay. makes a big difference into how much money you can make from launch jacking, right? Okay. Because obviously, <laughs> if it's a big launch, there's gonna be tons of traffic flying around and tons of people going to YouTube to look for a review. Yeah. If it's a small launch, there's only like two affiliates promoting, the chances of people going traffic to YouTube, small. the traffic small. And the, the chances of people finding you is even smaller. Exactly. Makes sense. So you wanna go, over, you wanna go after launches that are a decent size, right? Okay. Now, how do we know which of these launches are going to be big and which yes. are going to be small? So, the way that I recommend that you do this is you go over to Warrior Plus, okay? Uh, you go to Affiliates. Okay, hold on. Yeah. 
go to warrior plus go to affiliates okay you go to the affiliates tab on the affiliates tab you're gonna see uh, an option that says contests right okay. okay so if you click on contests contest yep it's gonna show <coughs> you <coughs> all of these different contests right okay so what you want to do is probably look at contests that have a speed contest, a main contest, and then mid contest as well. And that way, you know, at least if they have a speed contest and a main contest, you can see that this that the, that this launch is going to be serious, yeah. Okay. A speed contest. Yeah. And a main contest. And where does it tell me that? Like where would I see that? On here, you can see, like this one here, Funnels <coughs> Kit. It has a 48-hour closing contest. Okay. You see this one here, Funnels Kit as well. It has a mid contest. If we go down, Funnels Kit has a main contest. Okay. It has a 48-hour speed contest. Okay. Got so you. this launch is serious, right? Because they have all these con different contests going on during the launch. Yeah. Um, this one here, Sniper Profits Pro, 24-hour individual contest. Um, there's another one here, main contest. So you can see this is a serious launch as well. Okay. Because it has more than one contest. <laughs> uh, you can see this one here, WP Traffic Machine. It only has one contest. So it probably won't be that big. Okay. Um, <coughs> let's see what other ones we've got on here. So what was the three? You said speed contest, main contest. And what was the third one you said? Um, Mid contest, but as long as it has more than one contest, you know that it's pretty serious, right? Okay. If it just has one contest, chances are it's not going to be that big. Okay. Okay, so this one here. And ju just for the people watching, <coughs> and for myself, um, yeah. do you want to, so let's say it's going to launch on the 17th of August, for example. Does that mean you want to get your video up on the 16th of August or on the 17th or, or when, just before? Preferably at least 24 hours before. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so going back to these contests, yeah. now, some, <coughs> of these, some of these contests have, uh, have launched already. They're already running. Some of them won't have launched yet, like this one here. Okay. I believe, I'm not sure if this is launched yet or not. It might have done, actually. So 48 hour speed contest, we just opened this one up. Yeah, you can see it's already started. So what you want to do here is look at the affiliate names. Okay. So this guy here, Anthony Moncuso, we got Simple Spencer, uh, we got Billy Dar. Okay. Okay, we got Paul Nichols, Aidan Corkery, Art Flair. All right, so just kind of memorize a few of those names yep. and you'll see that they're gonna crop up on some of these other contests as well. So if I just go back to the main contest bit here, and I go to Funnels Kit, which is uh, a big launch that's going on right now. Okay. If I go to the main contest here, okay, and then we'll see if there's any names that have come up again, um, which there isn't on here, but you'll see if you go through some of these contests, a lot of these names are gonna crop up a lot, right? Okay. People like Glyn Kosky, people like myself and Brendan, <coughs> uh, people like Paul, uh, Paul Ponner, Yep. People like Paul Nichols, and you just you just go through these contests, and if if a name crops up more than once, yep. you know that they're going to be a serious affiliate. Now, okay. a lot of these affiliates, <coughs> in fact, all of the people on this leaderboard, they're on this leaderboard, they're an affiliate, right? But mm -hmm. they also launch their own products, right? So if we go back to Munchai, you can see some of these names are going to crop up. This guy, Billy Dar, he was on the, the, the contest before. Okay. His launch is going to be pretty good. Paul Nichols, he was, on, he was a big affiliate on one of those contests. He's got a launch coming up on the 18th. <coughs> Billy so, Dar's got a launch coming up on the 17th. It, so it's actually very simple. Instead of being confusing, basically, when, they, when you see their names in the, kind of the top five, if you like, yeah. you know that they're big players, which means they're big players because they have big traffic, which is ultimately bigger success in sales because they have more traffic, more volume, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That, that's pretty much it, right, in, in simple terms. Exactly. Because they are, they're heavy hitters as affiliates, you know that they're gonna get a lot of traffic to their launches yeah. because you know this whole business model of affiliate marketing and launching yep. it revolves around this thing called reciprocation right yeah so whenever any one of these guys has a launch and they have one of these leaderboards yeah okay like 
this launch that me and Brendan are hitting is by a guy called Richard Fairburn. Now, Richard Fairburn on mine and Brendan's most recent launch, which is called Cartel, he came number one on our leaderboard. Okay. So we're returning the favor. It's called yep. reciprocation. We're returning the favor on <coughs> his launch by sending a ton of traffic to his launch and getting him a lot of sales. Okay. So it's called reciprocation. That's kind yep. of how it works in like the top ranks of most of these guys. That was something I was going to ask you because I was thinking to myself, yep. like, Obviously, it's not network marketing, so mm. you're not going to get money, you know, from from people and that spread out from you, you know. Yeah. Um. So I was thinking, you know, what, if John was helping me now, what's the benefit? I know I'm going to buy his packages and blah blah blah, but the point is, what is his real benefit once I've done that and I make money for myself? You know, it's obviously this where yeah. you start cycling through each other and you know, exactly. Yeah, that's it. You that know, was one of my questions. Later on, when you launch a product, yeah, me and Brendan will <laughs> support your launch. And then when we launch a product, yeah. because you've already built up a, a list of, of emails, yeah. you're going to support our products, yeah, perfect, right? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah okay. that's kind of how it works. So <clears throat> going back to Munchai, to go, and f to go and differentiate which of these launches are going to be big and which ones aren't, it's just a question of finding those names. So you know Billy Dar, his launch is going to be big. Yeah. You know Paul Nichols, his launch is going to be big. Yeah. So these, <coughs> these are the launches we're going to go after. Now, 17th of August, that's going to be this Saturday, right? Okay. So the next thing that I do is I have my Google Calendar laid out <coughs> like this. And this is where I usually do this on a Sunday. I'll go through Munchai and I'll look at all of the, the big launches that are coming up okay. in the week to come and I'll go and make a note of it. Now, this might look a little bit confusing on here, but what I have is I have the, the ones in green, I have the ones in blue. Right, the ones in blue are the ones that are incomplete. Meaning, if I open this up, I haven't listed any mm -hmm. bonuses in here yet, and I don't have the sales page and all that kind of stuff. Right, mm -hmm. the ones in green, okay, um, it's all I, prepared. Is it it's just, all prepared. You're just waiting for your video upload, and you, yeah, okay. exactly. So oh, I yeah. have that's great. The JV page, I have my affiliate link ready, which I've applied for. Yep. I have the sales page ready, which I'm going to need in my review video. Mm -hmm. I have the JV doc from the vendor, which has everything that I need to do this. I have my review access here, and I've created my bonuses as well. So this is all ready to go. Now, I have a template that I use for this. With those bonuses there, sorry, yeah. uh, there's no, so you don't put your link or anything in just now, no? Uh, I got my affiliate link in here, <laughs> but we'll get onto this in a minute. Okay. Now, this is kind of the foundations of how I prepare for a campaign that I make, okay. right? So I have this template, which has affiliate link, sales page, JV doc, review access, and then bonuses, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. This is the link that, this is the template that I always use when I prepare for all my launches. So this okay. is the information that I need in order to create my bonus page and in order to make my review video. So okay. I can drop this template down below this video. Okay. I'm just go make a note of that so I don't forget to do this later. Yeah, I'm just making notes as well. Affiliate link, sales page. Okay, so. GV doc. What does the GV doc mean? Right, the JV doc is the information from the vendor, okay. uh, and this includes the sales page, the sales page links, review access, any oh, bonuses. What, what is that review access? It's it's a copy of the actual product that you can oh. access okay. before it launches. You okay. know? it's the exact same thing. <coughs> okay, uh, but they give it to they give this JV doc they give review access to their top affiliates. Okay. because they know that their top affiliates need this yep. to be able to make a review video for their email list, right? Okay, got So you. they give you review access. So I'm gonna drop this calendar template down below. I recommend that you do, you do this as well. So you open yeah, up your Google something. calendar and you just <coughs> drop in. So like this one here, this is launching today. Yep. You've got the name of the product, the name of the guy who's launching it. We've got the JV page in here. We got my affiliate link. We got the sales page and all the other information that we need. But I mean, it, it's basically fill in the blanks and that's it done. You know, that's it. Yeah, that's all we need to do now. When I first started doing this, I was making my bonus pages myself. Okay. Now, what I do is I have uh, I have a guy in the Philippines as my personal assistant, okay. my virtual assistant. I give him access to my calendar, so he can see all the information on here. Right. And then all I need to do once I once I filled in all the information here, I just yep. say to him, okay, go make the bonus page for CB Automator, 
and then he does it. I, okay. I contact him on Skype, and then what he does is he goes through and he puts all of this bonus page together, and then he sends it through in like a, a file like this. Okay. <laughs> and he and he, he he puts together all of my YouTube description that I need as well, so I don't need oh, to deal with any of that anymore. It used to take me a couple of hours to put all this together myself. Mm -hmm. Now I just don't do it. Now he makes my bonus pages, which look like this one right here. Oh, you we can see he's already made it CB Automator. Yeah. He's embedded my links in here. He's put all this information in here for me. He's got a demo video in there. He's got all of my bonuses, which he's made. Uh, but if you to do this yourself, I'm going to explain how to do this okay. today. Right, so basically all you need is this information first. Mm -hmm. We can get this information, most of it, <coughs> by going through to Munchai, going finding that, it's called CV Automate, it's right here, you can see. Okay. We click on here. Okay, so if I was to do this from scratch, I'm going to go and copy my template and I'm going to open up a brand new calendar here just by clicking on there. Okay. I'm going to call this uh, CB, I think it was all one word, and then the name of the, the vendor is Anchor. Anchor. Right. And then down here where it says more options, you yep. click on there. Okay. First of all, I'm going to paste in that calendar here, Got you. <coughs> and then I'm going to add in the JB page here. Now I can get that immediately from Munchai. <coughs> you see I opened up that, that particular launch on Munchai. Okay. Got the name of the guy here, the yep. name of the product when it launches. JB page. And then we got JB page here. So all I do is I'm gonna open up this JB page. I'm gonna grab the link from there, I'm gonna copy yep. it, and I'm just gonna paste it into my calendar right there. Okay. The next thing I need to do is get my affiliate link. So I go back to this JB page that I opened. And on this JV page, somewhere on here, there's going to be something that says, get your affiliate link right here, you see? Was that on the GB page, sorry? Yeah, okay, this okay. is on the JV page. <coughs> I scroll down and I click on get your affiliate link here. Okay. It's going to take me through to Warrior Plus and it's going to ask you to apply for your affiliate link. Now, I've already applied for it, so I've got my affiliate link ready here. Okay. And then all I need to do is just copy this link right here. So I'm going to copy that. Okay go back to my calendar and just paste it in next to where it says affiliate link. Okay. Next bit of information I need is the sales page. So to get that, I'm gonna go back to the JV page here. Hope you're scribbling. <laughs> down I'm trying to do, so I'm now on click JV page and get yep. your affiliate. That's number, no, so, okay, number eight. Then, would it, so then you, you go back into the JV page, did you say? Yeah, okay. go back into the JV page and then we're gonna look for a link that says sales page. So I'm going to do that right now. Go back into the JV page. Again. Look for sales page. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> and you can see we've got a link up here that says sales page preview. <coughs> so if I click on there, it's hopefully going to take me through to the sales page, which yes, it is. Okay. Sometimes uh, some of these vendors, they don't have their shit together. And when it says sales page preview, it just takes you back to the JV page. But okay. this guy has got his stuff together and this is the sales page right here. So okay. I'm just gonna copy that link right up there. Okay. And I'm gonna paste that into my calendar. So I've got, the, got my affiliate link, I've got the JV page, I've got the sales page. <coughs> Next thing I need is- And the sales page, sorry, the sale, if someone clicks on sales page, is that the video of the person who, who's running the contest explaining everything that, that, that their product does, no? It's the sales page that your customers are going to see when they buy this product. Okay, and if they buy it from that sales page, mm -hmm. it's not going to. You're still going to come to you, right? The sale, of course. Well, yeah, because you're you're not actually going to give them this sales page URL. You're okay. just going to use this sales page in your review video to say, "Hey, this is what the sales page looks like." Okay. If you click on the link <coughs> on the bonus page, it's going to take you through to this page, which looks like this. So you're only okay. using this for your review video. You're not going to give them this URL or anything like that. But if it's on, if it's on the description, are they not just going to click it and then you miss out? Uh, no, mm -hmm. no, they're not, because it's easier for them to click a link. Because ultimately, you're going to send them through to your bonus page, which is going to look something like this. Okay. And then you're going to have links on your bonus page to say, click here to secure your copy and your bonuses. So obviously mm. they're going to click here because they want to get their bonuses, Yeah, because if they right? don't, they're just going to get the, they're going to pay for the kit. Yeah. They don't get any bonuses. They won't so get your bonuses, yeah, right? Exactly. 
<coughs> okay, so we've got we've got our affiliate link ready. We got us we got the sales page. The next thing that we need is the JB doc. Now, this can sometimes be a little bit more tricky because not all of these vendors are going to give you a JV doc because especially if you're just brand new to this, yeah. you don't have any kind of sales history. They're just going to think, well, why should I give you access to my products? Go and buy it, you know. Yeah. You just you might be just looking to get this stuff for free. I don't know that you're a, that you're serious about sending me sales because you don't have any sales history. So nine times out <coughs> of ten, what happens? is they won't give you the JV doc, they won't give you access, they won't approve your links. Okay. So the way to get around that is to come to the JV page, yeah. and you scroll right <coughs> to the very bottom, and you're gonna find the contact details for this guy, Anko, the vendor. Okay. So you can contact him on Skype, you can contact him on Facebook, okay. and you can email him. So what I suggest you do here, and this is an issue for a lot of newbies because they don't know what traffic. To... They think, why would I give you it? You're not going to make me any money. Exactly. That's understandable. Yeah. They think, okay, I, well, I'm just, <coughs> I'm just giving you my product for free. Go and buy it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, because I don't know who you are. So a way to get around that is to grab your cell phone. <coughs> okay. You put it in selfie mode, and you just talk to your phone. You say, "Hi, Anchor. Uh, I see that you're launching CB Automator on the 17th of August or whenever it is. Uh, I'm new to this, but." You could say, yeah. I'm getting coached by John o. Armstrong okay. and he's showing me how to do this. I'd like to make a review video of your product. Please, can you give me access to it? Can you send me the JV doc? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then once you finish recording that video, you upload it to YouTube mm -hmm. and then you send that YouTube, <coughs> you send that link from that YouTube video to him. And you say, hey, Anchor, I recorded this video for you. Please kindly go and check it out. They'll go and watch that video and then they'll see that you've taken the extra step rather than just typing in, yeah. uh, give me the JV doc, I want to promote this, yeah. which obviously they're just going to ignore or yeah. whatever. They're going to see that link that you've put in there. They're going to see that you've taken an extra step and you're serious about doing this. Yeah. And the chances are they are going to approve your link and they're going to give you the JV doc. Now, once they give you the JV doc, it's going to look something like this, and uh, I sent this to you the other day and you said it just looked like, like Swahili. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but basically, this just gives you all the information that you need for the launch. You can see here, you've, they're giving you the JV page, mm -hmm. they're giving you information on when the when when the product launches. Okay, okay. okay. so you'd, in my mind you'd be thinking, okay, now I need to get my video up for the 13th, for example. Yeah, if you can get it up for the 13th, that's even better. Um, it gives you the, the, the details on early bird price. You don't really need to worry about this if you just launch jacking. This is more about when you're promoting this with email. It gives yeah. you something to, to, to email about. You can say, yeah. okay, right, so this launch is at, at 10 a.m. <coughs> and then it, the early bird price is, is going to, you see, it starts at $24, then it's going to start to go up. So you could send an email out to your email list at like 1 p.m. and say, early bird's going to end in an hour pick this up now to, to lock it in for the lowest price. Yeah. So this is only really applicable to people who have an email list mm -hmm. and it gives them a reason to email their list to, to kind of push the urgency on picking yeah. this up, right? You got the sales page preview, which again is something we need for our calendar. You got the sales video, which probably you don't need. And then boom, you've got software review access right down here, which you can go and use. Um, you've got email swipes, which... So, sorry, going back up to the software review. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what would I then use that for? You're going to copy and paste <coughs> this. Okay. <coughs> okay. You're going to copy this. You're going to go over to your calendar and you're going to, you're going to paste it in down here where it says review access. Okay. 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 So you're going to paste that in there. Got you. And then where it says JV doc, you just go and grab the URL of this document. Yep. And you're going to paste that in next to where it says JV doc. Yep. Okay. Okay. So now we've got all this information. <coughs> The reason we need review access is because we're going to open up this URL when we do our review video and we're going to walk, through, walk people through it, right? Okay. So this, give us, this gives us the URL to log in, it gives us the username and the password, so we have that boom right there ready. Okay. You, do you give that to the general public on your no, video or not? you don't. Say, okay, you don't. Um, I'm going to show you a way to, to block out this URL so that people can't see it, but this is password protected, so you don't really need to worry about blocking that URL okay. out. Sometimes the members areas here, they just have a URL and they're not password protected. You need to block out that URL in your review video. Okay. Otherwise anyone could just go to that URL and get it, you know, yeah, yeah. without buying it. So 
All right, the next thing you have in this JV doc is called email swipes. Now, I generally don't use email swipes. Okay. What these are, are that these are pre-written emails that you can use in your promotions. Okay. But what you'll find is that a lot of these lazy affiliates, they're just gonna copy and paste these email swipes. So a lot of these customers, they're gonna receive generic emails and they're just gonna think, oh, I've seen this one before. Okay. Uh, this this guy's obviously not serious about promoting this, you know? So I, I, write, all <coughs> my, I write all of my own emails, but um, some people use these email swipes, but I, I think it's, you need to be unique in your email writing and we'll okay. talk about that later on once you start building your list up but yeah. for now just ignore that apply links so this is where you can go and apply for your affiliate link if you if you need that okay. and then we got semi exclusive bonuses and you that include you can use. the apply link on your video and stuff not not no. the apply link if i open this up this mm -hmm. is just going to take me through to warrior plus that's just for you okay. this is this is just for me this okay. is a place where i go and apply for my affiliate link sure. and once it's been approved it's going to give me the affiliate link that I that I use in my okay. promotions, right? And I'll show you what you need to do with this later on. <coughs> um, the other stuff you don't really need. Um, so we've got all the information we need from that. Yep. We put that into our Google Doc. Now it's time to start building up our campaign. So have you got any questions so far? <coughs> Excuse me. So far, I think I am uh, following it fine. Don't need to be again. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. We're just kind of slowly building up that picture, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, software log. So the only ones I actually use, uh, use for everyone to see is the affiliate link, the sales page, JV Doc. They don't get the review access, mm -hmm. and they do get the bonuses. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's pretty much straightforward so far. So <coughs> we're going to take a quick break now because it's uh, prayer time and the mosque get pretty loud here. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about preparing our bonuses and preparing our bonus page, and then getting on to making the review videos. So stay tuned, and uh, yes. we'll see you in a second. See you in a bit. <laughs>